guys, I'm here with an empties video. Um, I've been trying to make it a really big conscience, conscious effort to get rid of everything that I have in my shower that's been there forever. So I've been trying really, really hard and I'm doing a pretty decent job. So let me just start with the first thing. This is from Hask. I got this quite some time ago and I got this to do a review on. It was a set of the shampoo, conditioner, oil of this keratin one and then a teal topped one with it which is the argan oil so this is the shampoo i got rid of the conditioner quite some time ago and um yeah this is the one that smells really really good it smells kind of sweet and fruity and it leaves my hair very soft and smooth for a shampoo that's a really good thing um and it feels really nice so i would definitely recommend it you can get these at um cvs and walgreens i've seen for about six to seven dollars something like that so not too bad. Next, I don't know if I showed this before or not, um, but for somehow it, for some reason, it's been out for quite a while and it's still on my bathroom counter. But this is the Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture um, perfume. It's been empty for a while. This is one of my favorite scents. I mean, if you walk by and you were to smell me, you would smell this. Um, I did get a new scent. It's Viva La Juicy um, La Fleur. And that one is similar to this one, but this is like my all-time fave. And it's so cute, such a cute bottle, but I'm so sad to see that it's gone. Um, well, but yeah. you don't have to throw it away. No? What should I do with it? You could like, like, keep it. Would you like to keep it? And put it on your vanity? You could, if you like. Okay. Alright, here you can keep that bottle. Um, next is from Pantene. This is the Color Lock shampoo i got this through expo tv actually i have the shampoo and the conditioner um through expo tv i got this um you can see it has like a like a reject label on it because it was like a tester so um i put on the back of the shampoo just okay um and on the conditioner um oh yeah i remember when i used this actually i liked both of them i really did i remember liking both of them and I remember um, my other half, he kept using the shampoo and I kept taking it and hiding it and he kept finding it and using it. <laughs> so I kept putting it away and he kept getting it. So he really liked it too. Um, the conditioner was so amazing. It really is super conditioning. If you can find this line in the store, I would definitely recommend it. Um, the conditioner is just above and beyond amazing. Um, if you're looking for something that's deep conditioning, this regular conditioner right here is going to do the job. It's really, really good. Um, next is this Dial Coconut Water. It was okay. I just was just trying to get through some body washes. It, actually, this one smells a little bit better than another version I recently tried. Um, so it's okay. I'm almost out of one of the newer ones, so I'll talk about that next time. Um, next is from Nuance. I had this one in my car and I've just been using these um, facial blotting papers. I got these um, when they were on clearance at CVS. I had like a, a $2 coupon or a $3 coupon and I ended up paying like a dollar for this. So, um, and it lasted a long time. It was 50 sheets. I use them like every day when I get in the car after work. Wait, wait, you want to see it? No, it's already in the trash. Next is from Ageless Derma Oil Free Purifying Facial Gel Cleanser. I got this as a review through Thomason quite some time ago, and this has been in my shower forever, and I've just finally used it up. It was it was okay. It was decent. It, it did a good job cleaning my face. Um, it didn't have the best scent. It just kind of it it was just there just to clean my face, and that was it. No no bells, no whistles. It was good. It wasn't the best, but it was okay. Um, next, oh, this is, um, this is what I have on my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, here's my phone. It's, this is the glass covering that's on the top of my phone. It went on so easy. This brand right here, Tech, what is it called? Tech Shield. Um, it says that it protects all these little things here, but it is really, really good. It went on super easy. It's a glass cover versus one of those little plastic covers that get bubbles and stuff like that. It had like a, um, two wipes in here, a wet wipe, a dry wipe, and then a wipe to wipe it down, and it had a sticker where you take off all the little fuzz right before you stick the little um, shield on, and it, I've been loving it. I've heard some reviews that they didn't think that it fit very well, and it kind of lifted and got fuzzy on the edges, but that doesn't bother me at all. I think it's fine. I'm okay with that in this case. Love it. 
Yeah, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Next is from Rimmel. I've had this forever and I've, like I said, I've been trying to make sure I go through everything and just start getting rid of stuff that I've had for a long time and use it up. So, um, it's just okay. This was the, I think it's the pink tone or peach, yeah, it's the peach tone toned primer. This is in the 001. It's kind of like a lotion-like primer. Um, and it was okay. It was good. Um, I was using it for the past couple of weeks just to use it up and it performed well. So, and I think it's like $7 at CVS. This next thing was, I got this for free and one of, it was a freebie. It came with um, a scrub top and some other thing for nurses. Um, and I haven't seen this in the store. This is from Neutrogena and this is just a face wipe wipe wash whatever you want to call it and um i think it did really really well it's this this little round it's a little bit dirty i try to rinse it off before i let it dry out to put it back in here so you can see it but it has like a little pocket here that you can stick your fingers in it has an abrasive side which is really truly not that abrasive um i don't know if you can even see that and then it has like the softer side where you can use to buff out um and it's very soft on this side but I think the abrasive side could be a little bit more abrasive. And then I think that if this was longer, like an oval shape, it would have been even better because it didn't stay on my fingers very well. But good concept. That yeah, was good using. Next, um, <laughs> this is, oh, this is a CVS brand wipes. The little top came off of it. Um, this is the age defying, the pink one. I think it did really well. I like this particular brand in CVS. Um, did I say it's a CVS brand? Because that's what it is. Um, I really liked it. It came with a whole heck of a lot of wipes. How many wipes was in this thing? Oh, it's only 30. It was only 30 wipes, but it seemed like it lasted forever. So, I really liked that. It was good. It had a mild scent. Not too bad. Um, I got this out of one of my Bulu boxes. This is the Berry Sleepy. Um, and it had two, um, capsules in here and... Um, when I took this, I can tell you I slept so good. I don't know what's in here. It has passion fruit extract, goji berry extract, yep. extract, tart cherry extract. Um, that's all that it says. It's just a blend of those, and I slept really good. I wish I had more of it. It was really, really good. Um, next is from Epice. Epice, I think. Dawn told me how to say this, but I don't remember. I think this was excellent. This is a great face scrub. It's got super fine like granules in there. It's not a microdermabrasion, but almost. It's really good. I really like this a lot. Um, I think she said she didn't care for it. I'm not sure. Um, but um, I got this, I think it was a birch box that I got it in. I really liked it a whole heck of a lot. If I can get another one, I would. This last one here is from Physicians Formula. This is the Lash um, Eyeliner Serum Eyelash Boost. And it's just a little felt tip pen right here and it gives the most precise line that you can give. Um, it's almost completely dead so I had to take it out and throw it away. But it's this is the brown one. Um, I prefer the black one. The brown one is nice to use. Look, of course now it's starting to work. But um, yeah, it's not that that wet anymore but um it's really good i highly recommend these physician formula liners a lot um they give the finest line and it lasts all day long that thing once you put it on there and a couple seconds and it sets it's not coming off and that's everything for my trash so that's it i hope um that i gave a couple of good reviews in there and um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.